Hi everybody, how you doing? So today I wanted to talk about directions in the in realm. So as I'm going through this video, I'm going to talk about kind of like the physical part of moving and then, you know, the in realm part of moving. So the seen, you know, physically moving and the unseen moving mentally, right? So how you travel is kind of by your thoughts and emotions. So the thoughts and emotions are kind of like the gas, right? You have an initial thought or an initial emotion, which then, you know, you add upon it. And then that's kind of like you trying to get to your destination or how high you can reach or how low you can go, right? So let's just kind of uh, take a example here. So let's say you're going to the store. Okay. And so you first had an idea that you wanted to go to the store. So you're like, oh, I need toilet paper and some food, this and that, right? And then you had an emotion about going to the store. Maybe you don't like going out in public or maybe, you know, you, you like seeing everybody there, whatever it is, right? And so now... Now you have the thought and you have the intention to go to the store, okay? So now how do you get there? So you get in your car, you know, and you're using gas. So what you're doing this whole time is you're kind of like writing a contract of what you're about to get and what you're about to give, you know? And I call it a contract because it's kind of like, like if you set an intention to do something and you didn't achieve that intention, then therefore, you know, what happens? You Maybe you feel bad about yourself or maybe you comfort yourself, right? Like, oh, it's okay, I'll, I'll do it tomorrow. Or I really should have done that today. I feel bad that I did not, right? So this is a contract, you know, what you get and what you give. So... Now, when you're in the store, okay, so you got there, and you were driving, you know, you got there, you parked, whatever, you go inside. And so now you need, let's say you need milk. So when you walk over to the milk section, after you had that initial thought, now you physically act out going there, and then you emotionally feel different by being in that section, right? So this is kind of like where you get the idea of like a moral compass, because let's say you're a vegetarian and you pass by the meat section. So you, you think negatively negatively on um, eating meat. So you don't like to be in that section, right? You don't like to be around the meat. So just by that instance, you have a different emotion than someone else does about that section, right? But it still made you feel a different way, whether you understood had the way it made you feel or not. If you were conscious of what you were feeling or not, it doesn't really matter, right? And so this is what I'm saying. It's kind of like you have this thought or emotion and you travel to that place. It's kind of like, you know, it's the imaginary realm, right? So it's kind of like if you were to imagine your body or, or a different body even, if you will, and you were... Like just like, oh, I'm going to blast off through this roof right now. And so you have all these like imaginary things of like how it's going to happen, right? So maybe the, the wall is going to break. You're going to go super fast. There's going to be air flush, you know, flushing, whatever, you know, hair in your, or wind in your hair, all these things. It's like you're imagining yourself blast off to that place. But we do it in like an unintentional way a lot of times. So it's like, uh, let's say you're at work and you messed up. You messed up somehow. And so whether or not you felt like you were guilty of messing up is what's going to determine where you travel to, right? So if you feel guilty and you feel sad about what you've done, then therefore you will go down. If you feel like, no, this is the manager's fault because he did this and this and this, then it's like a morally right, you know? So it's like, so it doesn't really matter, right? So this is what I'm trying to get you at is kind of like, it's 
it's the imaginary realm. And so this is like where your spirit's traveling as you're traveling. So you, you physically walk, but then you are emotionally thinking and, you know, all the, you have other things on your mind, right? So your mind's over there, but your, your body's here. That's what I'm saying. So this is funny because you can kind of think about this in like uh, media that we consume as well. So like a TV show, maybe you watch a TV show that's like very, um, has like, you know, superpowers and stuff like that, right? So you're traveling there. You're like, oh yeah, I'm kind of like this guy. I resonate with him more than this guy. Um, I want these powers. It'd be awesome to, you know, send gun someone or whatever it is, right? So you, you're emotionally and in the yin realm, you're there is what I'm saying. You're in that state of being of that imaginary realm. And you change it, you know, based on your imagination and stuff. But ultimately, you're there. So what I'm saying is kind of like, it's not like you, if you want to go up, you physically look up. No, it's like you fill up, right? You, if you're depressed and lazy that day, and you don't want to be depressed and lazy, then what do you do? You go and you do something that, and then you try to see if what you did will then make you feel better. You know, if you travel to a different space, is what I'm saying. But if you're really down and you kind of like it, then that's like, you know, you go down farther, is what I'm saying. You'll get more depressed. You'll be like, oh, I'm just a fuck up. I'm not going to, you know, I, I know everybody thinks badly about me. You know, it's, it's just you keep going down, down, down is what I'm saying. And this is where you ultimately stay if you choose to be fixated on that thing. So I'm saying whatever you f fixate on is kind of where you are at the moment, right? So you think about like, let's say high thoughts, you know, you think about love, peace, you know, things like that. Then, and you're, you're acting it out or you are, <laughs> my cat's messing around. You're, you're acting it out or maybe you're just thinking about it, just thinking about a better world. Like that's, that's a place you can go to in the spirit realm, you see? And so while your spirit goes to that place, well, let's say happiness, like that's a place. You, as your spirit goes to that place, then it's, it's giving you information from that place. You see, but you can only go as far as you've ever gone is kind of what I'm saying. You can like slightly reach new heights, but then you might go back down to a more stable foundation of where you're at. And this also really depends on starting points because it's like if you grew up in like a very chaotic household or, you know, maybe your your family wasn't the best influence, or so to speak. So your starting point might be lower than another person's starting point, who that person's starting point. Maybe they've always gotten love and all these other things, right? So they're comfortable in a different vibration. That's what I'm saying. So because they're comfortable in that different vibration, they might, the guy who, you know, received love and everything might look down upon being depressed and stuff. But the person who is depressed is like, you know, the... It has like a better way to deal with it. It's like, you know, I've been through worse or, you know, things like this. And they know how to get out of it faster is what I'm saying. So it's just as simple as that, really. I mean, if you want to fill up, you, you know, do something or think something that makes you fill up, makes you feel happy. If you want to go down, then you'll feel something, you know, more depressive or whatever it is to you. You know, it's subjective to you. I'm not, so it's kind of like the concept of like one person looks down upon cursing and then the other person um, doesn't mind cursing, right? So they're okay with that spot. So they, you know, these two people feel differently about it. And the person who looks down on cursing, if they do curse, then they'll feel badly about themselves. You see? So it's, it's kind of funny in that way. I mean, you kind of are the dictator of this, of this thing. I mean, you know, as you're traveling and stuff, you ultimately are the mediator and you ultimately can change that is what I'm saying. So it's kind of like the concept of like, if you're in hell, you know, maybe you were very guilty, you killed someone or whatever it might be. 
you basically could get yourself out of it, is what I'm saying. If you have enough willpower to do so, right? You can get yourself out of that. And that's that's just kind of how it works. I mean, I I don't know if you guys are getting it exactly, but uh, I'm, I'm trying my best to like do logically and then spiritual and stuff, but it's it's as simple as imagining. As you imagine or as you feel or as you think, you are going to specific places where your spirit is. You know, you might be stagnant, but your spirit's, you know, flying high. You see what I mean? It's it's just kind of like it's your it's your uh tether kind of thing. So you know, you can be doing both at the same time. You can be spiritually and physically moving. But you don't have to be physically moving to spiritually move. That's what I'm saying. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Um, it might be a little confusing. I hope it uh, cleared some things up, though. I mean, like, how do spirits travel and stuff? It's like, it's literally like you die. You have these good thoughts. Maybe you'll go somewhere good. And then maybe you have that one bad thought. And then you... you fixate on it boom you go down is what i'm saying so um i'll kind of uh do another video on like starting points and stuff because i think that's very important and then once we do starting points i uh, maybe i'll do another metaphysics or maybe i'll do a astrology video i was thinking about doing the ascendance because your most important things are your sun moon and ascendant so i'll Start working on that. Hope you guys enjoyed.